Hello, this is Blue Leader and we're here in Mississauga, Ontario where they have a total of 20 superchargers. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Let me give you my initial impressions of the superchargers here and the surrounding area. Initial thoughts, first thought, you're in a really wide outdoor parking lot. Superchargers are tucked in the corner and the epicenter of this uh, parking lot is a huge LA Fitness. So for all you gym rats who want to, you know, get your pump on, get your cardio going, you might want to supercharge here before or after you go uh, to LA Fitness and the surrounding businesses. Initial feelings. You know, I've got a feeling of excitement every time in, I'm in Ontario. Uh, so there's that. Plus I've got fam here just around the corner. Initial concerns, not concerned at all because not only do you have, you know, your awesome local businesses here, but right behind you is a car wash at the Shell gas station. So if you want to, you know, kind of go in there, you know, if you're into uh, a machine that cleans your car, you could do that. Even though I prefer to clean my Tesla by hand with the spray, with a little bit of detail, detail spray. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Oh yeah, very well lit during the day, almost forgot. And uh, at night, I do expect these lights to pop above you, so you should be well lit in the evening. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, support us by hitting the like and subscribe. And if you know anyone that wants to hang with us, make sure you share the content over with them. Thanks a whole bunch and hang tight for the guest review. They're located quite uh, strategically. They're close to the highway. Like this is my go-to if I'm heading to Oakville. My go-to anyways is the Starbucks across the street. So then while the car is charging for me to refuel, I go to the Starbucks, get my three shots of espresso over ice. Down the street, you have um, Jack Astor's bar food, quesadilla, nachos, and fries. If you are gonna take longer to charge, not just to get coffee. I have memories of Jack Astor's. Uh, I took this really pretty girl there, but she's always mad at me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Long time ago, like 2000, 2001. Okay, anyways, if there was no supercharger here, would you still come back to this parking lot? Yes. I mean, it's an, op it's an open parking lot. There's a lot of activities happening. Costco's right down the street, so there's always traffic. Do you drive your Tesla Model Y around the lot? Definitely, yes. What's the furthest road trip you've taken your Model Y in? I'm taking it all the way to Montreal and Quebec. Oh, Montreal and Quebec. I'm wondering, how long did it take you to get from the Toronto area to Montreal? Uh, the normal route says about eight hours, but with kids, that took about 12 hours travel time. 12 hours? <laughs> what the heck? What? How did the kids add extra time? They are more restless. I think on the way there, we had to charge twice. Uh, and on both stops, we had to stop and eat. So, you know. Makes sense. Yeah. Now, how was the ride besides the kids? It's amazing. First time we drove it to Montreal, it was winter. My husband decided to test it out with us in the car at night and run it up into 2%. <gasps> Did you make it 2% and in the winter it takes more, right? uh, more right? juice? So I was getting mad at him, but then he also managed to miss the exit. Like, I... Not the exit, sorry, the turn. So we had to go a little bit further and then it goes down to 1% and now I'm like, I am going to kill you. Were you praying? <laughs> You know, my family would be praying the rosary if we were at 1%. I am having an anxiety attack. But we managed to get to the supercharger. But you have a success story, so congratulations on driving a road trip at night with kids in the winter to 1%. Yes. <laughs> Very good, you made it. Now, how many kilometers, miles do you drive a month? 150, 200. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah. The reason why I ask, I'm from California mm -hmm. and our lawmakers are playing with an idea of charging EV drivers, you know, three to 30 cents per mile. Now you, if that came here to Ontario, you would be paying a few hundred dollars. If that came here to Ontario, would you give that a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs down. What was the point of me going for EV? That would have been me paying for the gas. You know what? You are in the vast majority of people who have that viewpoint. Now, before we leave, Geraldine, do you have any final words of wisdom for us? I mean, Teslas are good. It gets a lot of getting used to, but once you switch over, I don't think you can go back to gas. 
Hey, it sounds good and thank you so much for your time. We'll see you later, okay? You're welcome. All right, I just need a thumbnail shot. Sure. So, same place. Actually, can you just stand here, like, yeah, right in charging. front of the charger? Sure. And, uh, smile, it's from the waist up. Very smooth. 